hope all of you are doing really really good and this particular video we will be covering the, all the important aspects about intuit nurture and augment program and this video is more important than all the videos that i've already put up on my channel because you can just search through youtube right now and there's not even a single video when i'm saying not even a single video i really mean it there's not even a single video that covers all the details about this particular program the application procedure or anything about this program okay so just please do not skip even a single second and like i'm really thankful to mansi that she agreed to do this and help you all so yeah do not skip even a single second and just go through each and every point and whatever she is saying and it has been only 2 years since this program started and only 8 girls are selected Uh, for this program so it is very competitive yeah so just prepare accordingly so hello everyone we have mansi with us let's start with ha having a brief introduction about herself okay hi everyone i am mansi and i am from i'm um, btech third year student from indira gandhi delhi technical university for women and i'm a w uh, wtf scholar and intuit augment mentee as well as uh, incoming microsoft intern okay so manji as you mentioned that you are a mentee at intuit augment program so what is this program all about because i have seen that my juniors do not even know about this program even i did not know about this program like i was going through your profile and i saw that program Okay, so Intuit Augment program is actually a program for women uh, students in mm -hmm. second in, uh, year of the engineering. So it, the program is actually about uh, making the students know more about how the professional world works. So it's like uh, you will get mentors from Intuit, and that too would be individual mentors. The students get individual mentors from themselves, and they you have complete freedom. You can talk to them anytime. You can have a call with them. You can have a video call with them, and then you can uh, learn more about how the professional world works. Uh, they tell you about the projects that happens, and also the all those things like. maybe uh, how you can ace the interviews how you will work in a company when you uh, start working for the first time as a fresher and what all those things that are expected of a fresher when they come out of a college they tell you all about those things okay so it is only for like second year girls yes okay so manthi how did you uh, get to know about the program in your second year so uh i knew some of my seniors who ha who also had this written on the profile and they did some workshops also for us so how they get got into the program and all those things actually this program only started last to last year so there have been two cohorts until now the previous cohort had 40 girls and the last one had only 8 girls actually okay. they did, they took only 8 girls last year because uh, they wanted to expand the program more and they were experimenting because last to last year the program was a only 4 days program you can say but okay. last year when i was in it then uh, then this program was like for a full for a full month a one month program okay. in which they had sessions you have yes. individual sessions you have some assignment and all so they were like exploring all these things so it was like that Okay, so it is like a mentorship program, and like each and every one has a mentor. Each of the eight mentees that were there. Yeah, an individual yeah. mentor. Okay, uh, so Mansi, the next question that I have is that what is the application procedure of the program? Okay, so first of all, uh, the, when the applications open, they open for certain colleges. So it's like okay. that that. Uh, but uh, the colleges keep changing last year last year it were some mm -hmm. other colleges and last year some other colleges were also included so it's like that matlab uh, it's not for, uh, for all the people uh, it's only for some mm -hmm. certain colleges 8 to 10 colleges it's for those colleges mm -hmm. and then you after there is a coding test after you get your application selected first there is a resume selection round and you submit a resume and in in the resume actually it is very important uh, that you mention some of your projects and mm. because that's what they look for in in the after the, because up when you are 
uh, resume is selected, then you have a coding DSA round. In the coding round, there are three questions, medium level questions, you can say, DSA questions, uh, basic knowledge up to maybe, you can say, trees and graphs. Um, basic knowledge would be enough to crack the question. They're not that difficult. So mm -hmm. it's like that. And after that, uh, they have a telephonic HR interview for the okay. uh, candidates who have passed the mm -hmm. uh, coding test. And in the uh, HR interview, they actually ask you questions about, uh, you should have done a company research, first of all. They assume that you have done a company research and you're prepared for it. They, uh, and after that, they also ask you about some of your projects that you are proud of, some of your achievements that you are proud of. So these are the things with us in the HR interview. So I would, um, I would just say that you have to be prepared with the your company research about Intuit. And also mm -hmm. you have to have some projects in your mind that you're going to talk about because they're obviously going to ask you about them. OK, so like it's a three step process. First resume, yeah. then coding round, and then interviews are there. Yes. OK. So, so Mansi, anything specific that you did for like particularly for this program you added to your resume that you think helped you stand out or anything that like you would like to suggest to the future applicants that you can add these these things these these things in your resume so that it will stand out from the others. Okay, so one thing I would say that in my HR interview, uh, the HR Intuit's HR, she she asked me about the project that I am most proud of or the most exciting project that, and she wanted me to describe about it to tell her more about that project. So the project that I told her about is, uh, it was a game. So I made a, a multiplayer game using Unity. So I told her about okay. that, and it was an idea for conducting a coding contest in the form of a multiplayer game. So okay. she really liked that idea. So it was like a ship battle game where you will be throwing uh, questions at other players. So she really liked that idea. She asked me further questions about that. So she was really interested about that. So I would say mm -hmm. that maybe include some projects that are interesting and have some impact. And they are like, uh, you can say, imaginative. So they would really like it. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, in the HR interview, maybe you can, uh, it's like, uh, you have to talk like you are their friend and not like they are the interviewer and you're the interviewer. You can just simply talk with them. So that's mm. what that's, that will make you stand out, I guess. Yeah, because it's like it is so competitive, only eight girls you told me that are selected. So you have to add something that, you know, helps you stand out from others. Yes. Yeah. And uh, for the coding round, there are only three coding questions, no MCQs or anything. Yeah. Only three coding questions. Me. But I would say that uh, you have to ace the coding round. Uh, only the people who completed all the questions successfully were okay. shortlisted for the next round. So you have to ace it. OK. And the interview, it is HR plus technical. Like they can ask anything. It is not necessarily tech or non -tech. It's not technical. Uh, they would ask, hmm. when they ask about project also, they want to know uh what you did and what uh, imaginative thing that you added what were your ideas they ask you about your teamwork how you managed with your teammates and all those things and the eligibility criteria second year and they can be from any branch or anything yes right? they can be from any branch any branch and as you mentioned that there were some college restrictions that only specific colleges are allowed so like if someone wants to see the list of colleges uh, like is it given anywhere yeah, for each year, the list of colleges changes. And if you search about Intuit Augment for that year, you would get the list of the colleges that are eligible for it. OK, in the website. I'll just yeah, put it on the website. The yeah. box. Uh, even if okay. you don't find it on the website, there are other websites like Dare to Compete and all those uh, where this opportunity is posted. So you can keep track of it there also. So Manzi, what was your experience during the entire program? And like, what were your takeaways from the program? Okay, I would say that uh, my experience was first of all really great. Mm -hmm. The best thing was uh, we were given mentors of our own, and we can mm -hmm. talk to them. We can give our, we can ask any queries to them, and it's like the the mentors were really nice to us. They also gave us uh, their phone number. That even after the program is over, you can ask us any query. There is no need to be shy or anything. You can ask us anything, mm -hmm. and it was like uh, first of when I entered the program. Uh, I 
actually had really so many doubts that i don't know who to ask and how to approach uh, other people to ask about these doubts but with these mentors i can ask them any yeah. doubt i had for example in my resume only i showed them my resume and this is my resume mm-hmm. and in the third year or my fourth year when i'm uh, sitting in my placements i have to mm-hmm. submit my resume so what can i do more better in my resume that my resume get shortlisted for <laughs> other companies so mm-hmm. it's like first i thought my resume was really good but then they told me the flaws and then they kept piling on so i knew a lot about it that i have to change this mm-hmm. then this i have to edit like this so they picked on some very little details very minute details that we didn't even notice but the mm-hmm. recruiters they do so they mm-hmm. that's one thing that i uh, that i thought that was really helpful because i got to know a lot about things from a recruiter's point of view other than that yeah other than that there were sessions for, for example there was one uh, critical thinking session about dsa questions so they also took those sessions where we, we were forced to think from the mind from the basic approach to the highest approach most uh the one with the less time uh, less time complexity the most optimized approach so and it was not like the instructor was talking and we were listening it was like the, from both sides we were like yeah. interacting with each other we were giving our ideas and then they were telling us about their ideas so it was a very interactive session other than that mm-hmm. we told about how for example uh, we had a very really good session on how to make and approach projects how to make projects oh. and in that session they actually told us about like you make projects and we what we try to do is we try to include so many features in a project that we want the project to stand out but the real thing is if you put an effort in a single feature of the project and make it the best you can then how it is effective because when you mm-hmm. come in a company you are, you are not given the whole project as a whole you are given a part of the project and then you have to do your best in that part of the project so they told us how we can do that this m- m- there were some specific things that they taught us about cloud computing and all so it mm-hmm. was overall a really really great program and that's like yeah it was a really great program yeah and other than that it was like uh, when they told about told us about a day of a software engineer at intuit that was the highlight i can say of the program a day as a software engineer it was like they told us about from right from the morning to the evening uh, how the, they function it's like how the company as a whole not only considers the work they want to get done by their employees it they also mm-hmm. care for their like what are the plans they have for their employees uh, and all those things they were like uh, they give them many opportunities for further studies also so that was also a really great thing that is really nice yeah and i think in this second year is quite early so at that point of time if you get the right guidance and like you told that you've been given mentors like one one mentor so i think that is something really great that yes. you know you are getting a mentor from intuit in your second year itself yeah so yeah apart from that are there any internship opportunities like if you are a part of the program were you given any internship or maybe placement opportunities after the program was over yes actually after the program is over uh, mm-hmm. we were uh, we were given an opportunity uh, for getting an interview at intuit for that what we had to do is there was uh, an coding test again but it would be among only the eight of us it won't be like uh, off campus or on campus so it was like a very short uh, small pool and the chances were really high for getting selected so we had a coding test and after the coding test there were interviews from intuit only so we get a chance to get placed in intuit right from after that program ends after one month after the program they gave us links to uh, get uh, give coding test to get the coding test Okay okay and so they also really... actually prepared us they are, they also actually prepared us for the interviews as well the one on one mentoring sessions i was telling you about mm-hmm. they also took mock interviews for us yeah that is really nice like the company you are going to interview for you like their employees are taking your mock mock interviews, interviews that is really yeah. nice. and also 
so like maybe after internship you might get get a like full time offer as well wow. yes okay. yes yes right. they actually made us fill a form in which they also asked us about even if you don't want to get into institute in this year as an internship mm -hmm. if you want to have a 6 month internship in the next year so it's like they're giving us opportunity again and again yeah that is really nice i've never heard any company do this like they, yeah. they're giving us like when you have to do an our internship they're giving it as an option that is really nice so manji that were all the question that were from my side anything else that you would like to like anything else that is important that you'd like to tell I guess that was all, but I would say uh, that for the interview document exam, uh, for the coding test, uh, mm -hmm. this it will be next year, and you don't have to just uh, you don't have to put so many much effort into it. But yes, keep your basics straight. The questions will be easy to medium level, and you will able to you will be able to crack them if you have your basics cleared. So that was about it, and this program. it will be a really great achievement on a resume and not only on a yeah. resume but you will gain a lot of insights from people who are actually working and intuit it is such a really a big company so that would be really great yeah and just one more thing like if someone has to prepare for the program so like the common website like gfg and lead code is enough right i would say for any interview or coding test mm -hmm. lead code lead code and gfg okay. are totally enough Thank you so much Mansi for doing this means a lot